Oslo, Osloh, also US, Osloh, Norwegian, squared L, listen, rarely, squared SL, L, is the capital and most populous city of Norway. It constitutes both a county and a municipality. Founded in the year 1040 as Anslo, and established as a Kaupstad or trading place in 1048 by Harald Hardrada, the city was elevated to a bishopric in 1070 and a capital under Haken V of Norway around 1300. Personal unions with Denmark from 1397 to 1523 and again from 1536 to 1814 reduced its influence. After being destroyed by a fire in 1624, during the reign of King Christian IV, a new city was built closer to Akershus Fortress and named Christiania in the king's honour. It was established as a municipality for Manskaps district on the 1st of January 1838. The city functioned as a co-official capital during the 1814 to 1905 union between Sweden and Norway. In 1877, the city's name was respelled Christiania in accordance with an official spelling reform, a change that was taken over by the municipal authorities only in 1897. In 1925 the city, after incorporating the village retaining its former name, was renamed Oslo. Oslo is the economic and governmental centre of Norway. The city is also a hub of Norwegian trade, banking, industry and shipping. It is an important centre for maritime industries and maritime trade in Europe. The city is home to many companies within the maritime sector, some of which are among the world's largest shipping companies, shipbrokers and maritime insurance brokers. Oslo is a pilot city of the Council of Europe and the European Commission Intercultural Cities Programme. Oslo is considered a global city and was ranked Beta World City in studies carried out by the Globalization and World Cities Study Group and Network in 2008. It was ranked number one in terms of quality of life among European large cities in the European Cities of the Future 2012 report by FDI magazine. A survey conducted by ECA International in 2011 placed Oslo as the second most expensive city in the world for living expenses after Tokyo. In 2013 Oslo tied with the Australian city of Melbourne as the fourth most expensive city in the world, according to the Economist Intelligence Unit EIU's Worldwide Cost of Living Study. As of 1 July 2017, the municipality of Oslo had a population of 672,061, while the population of the city's urban area area of the 3rd of December 2018 was 1,467,000. The metropolitan area had an estimated population of 1.71 million. The population was increasing at record rates during the early 2000s, making it the fastest growing major city in Europe at the time. This growth stems for the most part from international immigration and related high birth rates, but also from intranational migration. The immigrant population in the city is growing somewhat faster than the Norwegian population, and in the city proper this is now more than 25% of the total population if immigrant parents are included. Topic. Urban region As of 1 January 2016, the municipality of Oslo had a population of 658,390. 
The urban area extends beyond the boundaries of the municipality into the surrounding county of Akashis municipalities of Aska, Berem, Fet, Ennebach, Railingen, Lorenskog, Nittedal, Skedsmo, Ski, Sorum, Gjerdrum, Oppegard. The total population of this agglomeration is 1,467,000. The city centre is situated at the end of the Oslofjord, from which point the city sprawls out in three distinct «corridors» inland northeastwards, and southwards along both sides of the fjord—which gives the urbanised area a shape reminiscent of an upside-down reclining «Y» on maps, satellite pictures, or from high above the city. To the north and east, wide forested hills marker rise above the city giving the location the shape of a giant amphitheater. The urban municipality of Oslo and county of Oslo are two parts of the same entity, making Oslo the only city in Norway where two administrative levels are integrated. Of Oslo's total area, 130 square kilometers (50 square miles) is built up, and 7 square kilometers (2.7 square miles) is agricultural. The open areas within the built-up zone amount to 22 square kilometers (8.5 square miles). The city of Oslo was established as a municipality on the 3rd of January 1838, see district. It was separated from the county of Akershus to become a county of its own in 1842. The rural municipality of Akka was merged with Oslo on 1 January 1948 and simultaneously transferred from Akershus County to Oslo County. Furthermore, Oslo shares several important functions with Akershus County. Boroughs <inaudible> 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 As defined in January 2004 by the City Council Carat The definition has since been revised in the 2015 census. <laughs> Name and seal After being destroyed by a fire in 1624, during the reign of King Christian IV, a new city was built closer to Akashus Fortress and named Christiania in the king's honor. The old site east of the Akka River was not abandoned however and the village of Oslo remained as a suburb outside the city gates. The suburb called Oslo was eventually included in the city proper. In 1925 the name of the suburb was transferred to the whole city, while the suburb was renamed Gamlebyen, literally, the old town. To avoid confusion, the old town is an area within the administrative district Gamli Oslo. The previous names are reflected in street names like Oslo Gate, Oslo Street, and Oslo Hospital. Topic: Toponymy. The origin of the name Oslo has been the subject of much debate. It is certainly derived from Old Norse and was, in all probability, Originally the name of a large farm at Bjorvika, but the meaning of that name is disputed. Modern linguists generally interpret the original Oslo, Aslo or Anslo as either meadow at the foot of a hill or meadow consecrated to the gods. With both considered equally likely, erroneously, it was once assumed that Oslo meant the mouth of the low river a supposed previous name for the river Alna. However, not only has no evidence been found of a river low 
predating the work where Peter Clausen Fries first proposed this etymology, but the very name is ungrammatical in Norwegian, the correct form would have been Loaros cf. Nidaros. The name Lo is now believed to be a back formation arrived at by Fries in support of his idea about etymology for Oslo. Topic Seal Oslo is one of very few cities in Norway, besides Bergen and Tønsberg, that does not have a formal coat of arms, but which uses a city seal instead. The seal of Oslo shows the city's patron saint, Saint Halvard, with his attributes, the millstern and arrows, with a naked woman at his feet. He is seated on a throne with lion decorations, which at the time was also commonly used by the Norwegian kings. History According to the Norse sagas, Oslo was founded around 1049 by Harald Hardrada. Recent archaeological research however has uncovered Christian burials which can be dated to prior to AD 1000, evidence of a preceding urban settlement. This called for the celebration of Oslo's millennium in 2000. It has been regarded as the capital city since the reign of Haakon V of Norway 1299 the first king to reside permanently in the city. He also started the construction of the Akershus Fortress and the Oslo Kongsgard. A century later, Norway was the weaker part in a personal union with Denmark, and Oslo's role was reduced to that of provincial administrative centre, with the monarchs residing in Copenhagen. The fact that the University of Oslo was founded as late as 1811 had an adverse effect on the development of the nation. Oslo was destroyed several times by fire, and after the 14th calamity, in 1624, Christian IV of Denmark and Norway ordered it rebuilt at a new site across the bay, near Akershus Castle, and given the name Christiania. Long before this, Christiania had started to establish its stature as a center of commerce and culture in Norway. The part of the city built starting in 1624 is now often called Kvadraturen because of its orthogonal layout in regular, square blocks. The last Black Death outbreak in Oslo occurred in 1654. In 1814 Christiania once more became a real capital when the union with Denmark was dissolved. Many landmarks were built in the 19th century, including the Royal Palace 1825–1848, Storting Building the Parliament 1861–1866, the University, National Theatre and the Stock Exchange. Among the world-famous artists who lived here during this period were Henrik Ibsen and Knut Hamsen the latter was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. In 1850, Christiania also overtook Bergen and became the most populous city in the country. In 1877 the city was renamed Christiania. The original name of Oslo was restored in 1925. Topic 1000 to 1600. Under the reign of Olaf III of Norway, Oslo became a cultural center for Eastern Norway. Halbert Vevjonsson became the city's patron saint and is depicted on the city's seal. In 1174, Hobbardoir Abbey was built. The churches and abbeys became major owners of large tracts of land, which proved important for the city's economic development, especially before the Black Death. 
On 25 July 1197, Sverre of Norway and his soldiers attacked Oslo from Hovedøya. During the Middle Ages, Oslo reached its heights in the reign of Haakon V of Norway. He started building Akash's fortress and was also the first king to reside permanently in the city, which helped to make Oslo the capital of Norway. In the end of the 12th century, Hanseatic League traders from Rostock moved into the city and gained major influence in the city. The Black Death came to Norway in 1349 and, like other cities in Europe, the city suffered greatly. The church's earnings from their land also dropped so much that the Hanseatic traders dominated the city's foreign trade in the 15th century. Topic: 17th century. Over the years, fire destroyed major parts of the city many times, as many of the city's buildings were built entirely of wood. After the last fire in 1624, which lasted for three days, Christian IV of Denmark decided that the old city should not be rebuilt again. His men built a network of roads in Akashigan near Akashis Castle. He demanded that all citizens should move their shops and workplaces to the newly built city Christiania, named as an honor to the king. The transformation of the city went slowly for the first hundred years. Outside the city, near Vaterland and Gronland near Old Town, Oslo, a new, unmanaged part of the city grew up filled with citizens of low-class status. Topic: 18th century. In the 18th century, after the Great Northern War, the city's economy boomed with shipbuilding and trade. The strong economy transformed Christiania into a trading port. Topic: 19th century. In 1814 the former provincial town of Christiania became the capital of the independent Kingdom of Norway, in a personal union with Sweden. Several state institutions were established and the city's role as a capital initiated a period of rapidly increasing population. The government of this new state needed buildings for its expanding administration and institutions. Several important buildings were erected, the Bank of Norway 1828, the Royal Palace 1848, and the Storting 1866. Large areas of the surrounding Aka municipality were incorporated in 1839, 1859 and 1878. The 1859 expansion included Grunelokka, Gronland and Oslo. At that time the area called Oslo now Gamlebyen or Old Town was a village or suburb outside the city borders east of Aka River. The population increased from approximately 10,000 in 1814 to 230,000 in 1900. Christiania expanded its industry from 1840, most importantly around Akaselva. There was a spectacular building boom during the last decades of the 19th century, with many new apartment buildings and renewal of the city centre, but the boom collapsed in 1899. 1900–present The municipality developed new areas such as Ullaville Garden City (1918–1926) and Torshof (1917–1925). 
City Hall was constructed in the former slum area of Vika, from 1931 to 1950. The municipality of Akka was incorporated into Oslo in 1948, and suburbs were developed, such as Lambertsita from 1951. Akka Brigger was constructed on the site of the former shipyard Akers Mechanisk Verkstad, from 1982 to 1998. The name of city and municipality was Christiania until 1 January 1925 when the name was changed to Oslo. Oslo was the name of an eastern suburb and the site of the city centre until the devastating 1624 fire. Christian, King of Denmark, ordered a new city built with his own name. Oslo remained a poor suburb outside the city border. In the early 1900s it was argued that a Danish king was inappropriate as the name of the capital of independent Norway. In the 2011 Norway terror attacks, Oslo was hit by a bomb blast that ripped through the government quarter, damaging several buildings including the building that houses the office of the prime minister. 8 people were killed in the bomb attack. Topic: Geography. Oslo occupies an arc of land at the northernmost end of the Oslofjord. The fjord, which is nearly bisected by the Nesodden Peninsula opposite Oslo, lies to the south. In all other directions, Oslo is surrounded by green hills and mountains. There are 40 islands within the city limits, the largest being Marmoya, 0.56 square kilometers or 0.22 square miles, and scores more around the Oslofjord. Oslo has 343 lakes, the largest being Maradalsvannet, 3.91 square kilometers or 1.51 square miles. This is also a main source of drinking water for large parts of Oslo. Although eastern Norway has a number of rivers, none of these flow into the ocean at Oslo. Instead Oslo has two smaller rivers, Akaselva draining Maradalsvannet, which flows into the fjord in Bjorvika, and Alna. The waterfalls in Akaselva gave power to some of the first modern industry of Norway in the 1840s. Later in the century, the river became the symbol of the stable and consistent economic and social divide of the city into an east end and a west end. The laborers' neighborhoods lie on both sides of the river, and the divide in reality follows Ulan Street a bit further west. River Alna flows through Grorudalen, Oslo's major suburb and industrial area. The highest point is Kirkbege, at 629 metres Although the city's population is small compared to most European capitals, it occupies an unusually large land area, of which two-thirds are protected areas of forests, hills and lakes. Its boundaries encompass many parks and open areas, giving it an airy and green appearance. Climate Oslo has a humid continental climate, Köppen climate classification Dfb, with warm summers and cold winters. Due to oceanic influences, winters are less cold than more continental areas at same latitude. With minus 3 degrees Celsius isotherm, it is also reasonable for Oslo to be classified as a borderline oceanic climate. Oslo has a significant amount of rainfall during the year. This is true even for the driest month. 
Because of the city's northern latitude, daylight varies greatly, from more than 18 hours in midsummer, when it never gets completely dark at night, no darker than nautical twilight, to around 6 hours in midwinter. July 1901 was the warmest month ever recorded with 24 hour monthly mean temperature at 22.7 degrees Celsius. 72.9 degrees Fahrenheit. The climate table below is for 1981 to 2010, while extremes except average annual maximum and minimum temperatures also includes earlier stations such as the observatory downtown. Recent decades have seen warming, and eight of the twelve monthly record lows are from before 1900, while the most recent is the November record low from 1965. May 2018 saw hotter than average temperatures throughout the month. On 30 May 2018 the city saw temperatures rise to 31.1 degrees Celsius, making it the hottest May temperature on Oslo records. On 27 July 2018 the temperature in Oslo rose to 34.6 C, the hottest ever recorded since 1937, when the weather observations for Oslo have been conducted in the university area at Blinden. In January, three out of four days are below freezing 0 degrees Celsius, on average one out of four days is colder than minus 10 degrees Celsius. The coldest temperature recorded is minus 29.6 degrees Celsius, minus 21.3 degrees Fahrenheit, on the 21st of January 1841, while the coldest ever recorded at Blinden is minus 26 degrees Celsius, minus 14.8 degrees Fahrenheit, in January 1941. Topic. Parks and recreation areas Oslo has a large number of parks and green areas within the city core, as well as outside it. Frogner Park is a large park located a few minutes walk away from the city centre. This is the biggest and best known park in Norway, with a large collection of sculptures by Gustav Vigeland. Bygdoy is a large green area, commonly called the Museum Peninsula of Oslo. The area is surrounded by the sea and is one of the most expensive districts in Norway. Ekbergparken Sculpture Park is a sculpture park and a national heritage park with a panoramic view of the city at Ekberg in the southeast of the city. St. Hanshoyen Park is an old public park on a high hill in central Oslo. St. Hanshoyen is also the name of the surrounding neighborhood as well as the larger administrative district borough that includes major parts of central Oslo. Toyen Park stretches out behind the Munch Museum, and is a vast, grassy expanse. In the north, there is a lookout point known as Ola Narr. The Toyen area also includes the Botanical Garden and Museum belonging to the University of Oslo. Oslo, with neighboring Sandvika Aska, is built in a horseshoe shape on the shores of the Oslo Fjord and limited in most directions by hills and forests. As a result, any point within the city is relatively close to the forest. There are two major forests bordering the city, Ostmarka literally, eastern forest, on the eastern perimeter of the city, and the very large Nordmarka literally, northern forest, stretching from the northern perimeter of the city deep into the hinterland. Sonsvan is a lake in Oslomarka, located at the land border, just north of Oslo. 
Sonsvan was drinking water for Oslo from 1876 to 1967. The lake's altitude above sea level is 183 meters. The water is in a popular hiking area. Near the water itself, it is great for barbecues, swimming, beach volleyball and other activities. The municipality operates eight public swimming pools. Toyenbade is the largest indoor swimming facility in Oslo and one of the few pools in Norway offering a 50-meter main pool. Another in that size is the outdoor pool Frognebade. Topic: <laughs> Cityscape. Oslo's cityscape is being redeveloped as a modern city with various access points, an extensive metro system with a new financial district and a cultural city. In 2008, an exhibition was held in London presenting the award-winning Oslo Opera House, the urban regeneration scheme of Oslo's seafront, Munch, Stenison and the new Dijkman Library. Most of the buildings in the city and in neighboring communities are low in height with only the plaza, post Husay and the high-rises at Bjorvika considerably taller. Architecture <laughs> 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 Oslo's architecture is very diverse. The architect Carl Frederick Stanley (1769–1805), who was educated in Copenhagen, spent some years in Norway around the turn of the 19th century. He did minor works for wealthy patrons in and around Oslo, but his major achievement was the renovation of the Oslo Katedralskull, completed in 1800. He added a classical portico to the front of an older structure, and a semicircular auditorium that was sequestered by Parliament in 1814 as a temporary place to assemble, now preserved at Norsk Folkmuseum as a national monument. When Christiania was made capital of Norway in 1814, there were practically no buildings suitable for the many new government institutions. An ambitious building program was initiated, but realized very slowly because of economic constraints. The first major undertaking was the Royal Palace, designed by Hans Lindstow and built between 1824 and 1848. Lindstow also planned Carl Johann's Gate, the avenue connecting the palace and the city, with a monumental square halfway to be surrounded by buildings for university, the parliament, storting, and other institutions. Only the university buildings were realized according to this plan. Christian Heinrich Grosch, one of the first architects educated completely within Norway, designed the original building for the Oslo Stock Exchange 1826 the local branch of the Bank of Norway 1828, Christiania Theatre and the first campus for the University of Oslo 1841 1856. For the university buildings, he sought the assistance of the renowned German architect Karl Friedrich Schinkel. German architectural influence persisted in Norway, and many wooden buildings followed the principles of neoclassicism. In Oslo, the German architect Alexis de Chateauneuf designed Trafaldietskirchen, the first neo-Gothic church, completed by von Hanno in 1858. 
A number of landmark buildings, particularly in Oslo, were built in the functionalist style, better known in the US and Britain as modernist, the first being Skansen Restaurant by Lars Bakker, demolished in 1970. Bakker also designed the restaurant at Ekberg, which opened in 1929. Kunstnern Hussart Gallery by Gudolf Blakestad and Hermann Munthy Kaas still shows the influence of the preceding classicist trend of the 1920s. The redevelopment of Oslo Airport by the Aviaplan Consortium at Gardermen, which opened in 1998, was Norway's largest construction project to date. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Politics and Government. Oslo is the capital of Norway, and as such is the seat of Norway's national government. Most government offices, including that of the Prime Minister, are gathered at Regjeringsvartale, a cluster of buildings close to the national parliament, the Storting. Constituting both a municipality and a county of Norway, the city of Oslo is represented in the Storting by 19 members of parliament. The Conservative Party is the most represented party in Oslo with six members, the Labour Party has five, the Progress Party, the Liberals and the Socialist Left Party have two each, the Green Party and the Red Party have one each. The combined municipality and county of Oslo has had a parliamentary system of government since 1986. The supreme authority of the city is the city council which currently has 59 seats. Representatives are popularly elected every four years. The City Council has five standing committees each having its own areas of responsibility. The largest parties in the City Council after the 2015 elections are the Labour Party and the Conservatives, with 20 and 19 representatives respectively. Topic: 2015 elections. The mayor of Oslo is the head of the city council and the highest ranking representative of the city. This used to be the most powerful political position in Oslo, but following the implementation of parliamentarism, the mayor has had more of a ceremonial role, similar to that of the president of the Storting at the national level. The current mayor of Oslo is Marianne Borgen. Since the local elections of 2015, the city government has been a coalition of the Labour Party, the Green Party and the Socialist Left. Based mostly on support from the Red Party, the coalition maintains a workable majority in the city council. The governing mayor of Oslo is the head of the city government. The post was created with the implementation of parliamentarism in Oslo and is similar to the role of the Prime Minister at the national level. The current governing mayor is Raymond Johansson. Economy <inaudible> 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 Oslo has a varied and strong economy and was ranked number one among European large cities in economic potential in the FDI magazine report European Cities of the Future 2012. It was ranked second in the category of business friendliness, behind Amsterdam. Oslo is an important centre of maritime knowledge in Europe and is home to approximately 1980 companies and 8,500 employees within the maritime sector. 
Some of them are the world's largest shipping companies, shipbrokers, and insurance brokers. Det Norsk Veritas, headquartered at Hovik outside Oslo, is one of the three major maritime classification societies in the world, with 16.5% of the world fleet to class in its register. The city's port is the largest general cargo port in the country and its leading passenger gateway. Close to 6,000 ships dock at the port of Oslo annually with a total of 6 million tons of cargo and over 5 million passengers. The GDP of Oslo totaled €64 billion Euros Euros per capita in 2016, which amounted to 20% of the national GDP. This compares with 166 billion Norwegian krona, 17 billion dollars in 1995. The metropolitan area, Bar Moss and Drammen, contributed 25% of the national GDP in 2003 and was also responsible for more than one quarter of tax revenues. In comparison, total tax revenues from the oil and gas industry on the Norwegian continental shelf amounted to about 16%. Oslo is one of the most expensive cities in the world. As of 2006, it is ranked 10th according to the Worldwide Cost of Living Survey provided by Mercer Human Resource Consulting and 1st according to the Economist Intelligence Unit. The reason for this discrepancy is that the EIU omits certain factors from its final index calculation, most notably housing. In the 2015 update of the EIU's Worldwide Cost of Living Survey, Oslo now ranks as the third most expensive city in the world. Although Oslo does have the most expensive housing market in Norway, it is comparably cheaper than other cities on the list in that regard. Meanwhile, prices on goods and services remain some of the highest of any city. Oslo hosts 2,654 of the largest companies in Norway. Within the ranking of Europe's largest cities ordered by their number of companies Oslo is in fifth position. A whole group of oil and gas companies is situated in Oslo. According to a report compiled by Swiss Bank UBS in the month of August 2006, Oslo and London were the world's most expensive cities. topic environment Oslo is a compact city it is easy to move around by public transportation and rentable city bikes are accessible to all all over the city center in 2003 Oslo received the European Sustainable City Award and in 2007 Reader's Digest ranked Oslo as number 2 on a list of the world's greenest most livable cities. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. Topic. Institutions of higher education University of Oslo Universitetet i Oslo UO. Undergraduate, graduate and PhD programs in most fields Oslo and Akershus University College of Applied Sciences Hogskolen i Oslo og Akershus HIOA, former Oslo University College. Focuses on three- to four-year professional degree programs. By Norwegian Business School Handelshøyskolen by — primarily economics and business administration. Norwegian School of Information Technology Norges Informationsnologisk Højskole NIF 
Oslo School of Architecture and Design Architecture og Design Hogskolen i Oslo Aho. Norwegian School of Sport Sciences Norges Idrettshogskole NIH offers opportunities to study at the bachelor, master's and doctoral level. Norwegian Academy of Music Norges Musikhogskole MF Norwegian School of Theology Det Teologisk Menighets Fakultet MF Oslo National Academy of the Arts Kunsthögskolan i Oslo KHIO Norwegian University of Life Sciences Norges Miljø og Biovetenskapelige Universitet NMBU located in Oslo right outside of Oslo Norwegian Army Academy The Norwegian Defence University College The Norwegian Police University College Norwegian School of Veterinary Science Oslo Academy of Fine Arts Oslo School of Management MH, located at the campus Christiania Education Center. The level of education and productivity in the workforce is high in Norway. Nearly half of those with education at tertiary level in Norway live in the Oslo region, placing it among Europe's top three regions in relation to education. In 2008, the total workforce in the Greater Oslo region, five counties, numbered 1,020,000 people. The Greater Oslo region has several higher educational institutions and is home to more than 73,000 students. The University of Oslo is the largest institution for higher education in Norway with 27,400 students and 7,028 employees in total. Culture Oslo has a large and varied number of cultural attractions, which include several buildings containing artwork from Edward Munch and various other international artists but also several Norwegian artists. Several world-famous writers have either lived or been born in Oslo. Examples are Knut Hamsen and Henrik Ibsen. The government has recently invested large amounts of money in cultural installations, facilities, buildings and festivals in the city of Oslo. By Doi, outside the city centre is the Centre for History and the Norwegian Vikings History. The area contains a large number of parks and seasites and many museums. Examples are the Fram Museum, Vikingskifferset and the Kon Tiki Museum. Oslo hosts the annual Oslo Freedom Forum, a conference described by The Economist as on its way to becoming a human rights equivalent of the Davos Economic Forum. Oslo is also known for giving out the Nobel Peace Prize every year. Topic. Food Gronland, the central areas around Youngstorje and Torgata, Karl Johans Gate the main pedestrian thoroughfare, Aker Brigge and Tuvholmen, Soringer, and the boroughs of Frogner, Majestuen, St. Hanshoyen, Bislet, and Grunelocker all have a high concentration of cafes and restaurants. There are several food markets, the largest being Mathallan Food Hall at Vulcan with more than 30 specialty shops, cafes, and eateries. As of March 2018, six Oslo restaurants were mentioned in the Michelin Guide. Maremo is the only Norwegian restaurant ever to have been awarded three Michelin stars. 
Statholdegarden, Contrast, and Gall each have one star. Only two restaurants in Oslo have a Bib Gormand mention, Restaurant EIK and Smallens. Museums, galleries Oslo houses several major museums and galleries. The Munch Museum contains a scream and other works by Edward Munch, who donated all his work to the city after his death. The City Council is currently planning a new Munch Museum which is most likely to be built in Bjorvika, in the southeast of the city. The museum will be named Munch Stenison. Fifty different museums are located around the city. Folk Musée is located on the Baigdoy Peninsula and is dedicated to folk art, folk dress, Sami culture, and the Viking culture. The outdoor museum contains 155 authentic old buildings from all parts of Norway, including a stave church. The Vigeland Museum, located in the large Frogna Park, is free to access and contains over 212 sculptures by Gustav Vigeland, including an obelisk and the Wheel of Life. Another popular sculpture is Sinatagan, a baby boy stamping his foot in fury. This statue is very well known as an icon in the city. There is also a newer landscape sculpture park, Eatbergparken Sculpture Park, with works by Norwegian and international artists such as Salvador Dali. The Viking Ship Museum features three Viking ships found at Osberg, Gokstad, and Tune, and several other unique items from the Viking Age. The Oslo City Museum holds a permanent exhibition about the people in Oslo and the history of the city. The Kontiki Museum houses four Heyerdahls Kontiki and Ratu. The National Museum holds and preserves, exhibits, and promotes public knowledge about. About Norway's most extensive collection of art. The museum shows permanent exhibitions of works from its own collections but also temporary exhibitions that incorporate work loaned from elsewhere. The National Museum's exhibition avenues are the National Gallery, the Museum of Contemporary Art, the National Museum, the Museum of Decorative Arts and the National Museum of Architecture. The new National Museum in Oslo will open in 2020 located at Vestbanen behind the Nobel Peace Center. The Nobel Peace Center is an independent organization opened on the 11th of June 2005 by the King Harald V as part of the celebrations to mark Norway's centenary as an independent country. The building houses a permanent exhibition, expanding every year when a new Nobel Peace Prize winner is announced, containing information of every winner in history. The building is mainly used as a communication center. Topic. Music and events A large number of festivals are held in Oslo, such as Oslo Jazz Festival, a six-day jazz festival which has been held annually in August for the past 25 years. Oslo's biggest rock festival is Oya Festivalen or simply Oya. It draws about 60,000 people to the Toyen Park East in Oslo and lasts for four days. The Oslo International Church Music Festival has been held annually since 2000. The Oslo World Music Festival showcases people who are stars in their own country but strangers in Norway. The Oslo Chamber Music Festival is held in August every year and world-class chambers and soloists gather in Oslo to perform at this festival. The Norwegian Wood Rock Festival is held every year in June in Oslo. 
The Nobel Peace Prize ceremony is headed by the Institute. The award ceremony is held annually in the City Hall on 10 December. Even though Sami land is far away from the capital, the Norwegian Museum of Cultural History marks the Sami National Day with a series of activities and entertainment. The World Cup Biathlon in Holmenkollen is held every year and here male and female competitors compete against each other in sprint, pursuit and mass start disciplines. Other examples of annual events in Oslo are Dusuken, a convention focusing on Japanese culture and Ferdesilazen, the world's largest overnight regatta with more than 1100 boats taking part every year. Richard Nordrak composer of the National Anthem of Norway, was born in Oslo in 1842. Norway's principal orchestra is the Oslo Philharmonic, based at the Oslo Concert Hall since 1977. Although it was founded in 1919, the Oslo Philharmonic can trace its roots to the founding of the Christiania Musikerforening Christiania Musicians Society by Edward Grieg and Johann Svensson in 1879. Oslo has hosted the Eurovision Song Contest twice, in 1996 and 2010. Topic. Performing arts Oslo houses over 20 theatres, such as the Norwegian Theatre and the National Theatre located at Karl Johan Street. The National Theatre is the largest theatre in Norway and is situated between the Royal Palace and the Parliament Building, Stortinget. The names of Ludwig Holberg, Henrik Ibsen and Björnstjörn Björnsson are engraved on the façade of the building over the main entrance. This theatre represents the actors and play writers of the country but the songwriters, singers and dancers are represented in the form of a newly opened Oslo Opera House, situated in Björvika. The opera was opened in 2008 and is a national landmark, designed by the Norwegian architectural firm, Snohetta. There are two houses, together containing over 2,000 seats. The building cost €500 million Euro to build and took five years to build and is known for being the first opera house in the world to let people walk on the roof of the building. The foyer and the roof are also used for concerts as well as the three stages. Literature Most great Norwegian authors have lived in Oslo for some period in their life. For instance, Nobel Prize winning author Sigrid Unset grew up in Oslo, and described her life there in the autobiographical novel Elevé R. 1934, translated as The Longest Years, New York 1971. The playwright Henrik Ibsen is probably the most famous Norwegian author. Ibsen wrote plays such as Hedda Gabler, Pier Gint, A Doll's House and The Lady from the Sea. The Ibsen Quotes project completed in 2008 is a work of art consisting of 69 Ibsen quotations in stainless steel lettering which have been set into the granite sidewalks of the city's central streets. In recent years, novelists like Lars Sabi Christensen, Tove Nilsson, Joe Nesper, and Roy Jacobson have described the city and its people in their novels. Early 20th century literature from Oslo include poets Rudolf Nilsson and Andre Björker. Topic: Media. 
The newspapers Aftenposten, Dagbladet, Verdens Gang, Dagens Naringsliv, Finansavisen, Dagsavisen, Morgenbladet, Vartland, Nationen and Klaaskampen are published in Oslo. The main office of the national broadcasting company NRK is located at Marienlist in Oslo, near Majestuen, and NRK also has regional services via both radio and television. TV Nord TV Norway is also located in Oslo, while TV2 based in Bergen and TV3 based in London operate branch offices in central Oslo. There is also a variety of specialty publications and smaller media companies. A number of magazines are produced in Oslo. The two dominant companies are Alle Media and Gemmet Mortensen AB. Sports Oslo is home to the Holmenkollen National Arena and Holmenkollbakken, the country's main biathlon and Nordic skiing venues. It hosts annual World Cup tournaments, including the Holmenkollen Ski Festival. Oslo hosted the Biathlon World Championships in 1986, 1990, 2000, 2002, and 2016. FIS Nordic World Ski Championships have been hosted in 1930, 1966, 1982 and 2011, as well as the 1952 Winter Olympics. Oslo is the home of several football clubs in the Norwegian league system. Valeringa, Linn and Skeid have won both the league and the cup, while Mercantile and Frigg have won the cup. Ullevall Stadion is the home arena for the Norway national team and the football cup final. The stadium has previously hosted the finals of the UEFA Women's Championship in 1987 and 1997, and the 2002 UEFA European Under-19 Football Championship. Roeril is Oslo's only team in the Women's League top Syrian. Each year, the International Youth Football Tournament Norway Cup is held on Ekbergsletter and other places in the city. Due to the cold climate and proximity to major forests bordering the city, skiing is a popular recreational activity in Oslo. The Trivand Ski Resort is the most used ski resort in Norway. The most successful ice hockey team in Norway, Valeringa Ishoki, is based in Oslo. Manglad Star is another Oslo team who play in the top league. Bislett Stadium is the city's main track and field venue, and hosts the annual Bislett Games, part of IAAF Diamond League. Yurkatrav Bain is the main venue for harness racing in the country. Oslo Spectrum is used for large ice hockey and handball matches. Nordstron he and Opsal if plays in the women's Grundigligion in handball, while Bayekalaje he plays in the men's league. Jordal AMFI, the home of the ice hockey team Valeringa Ishoki, and the national team. The 1999 IIHF World Championship in ice hockey were held in Oslo, as have three bandy world championships, in 1961, 1977 and 1985. The UCI Road World Championships in bicycle road racing were hosted 1993. Oslo was bidding to host the 2022 Winter Olympics, but later withdrew on 2 October 2014. Tourism 
In 2018, Oslo is named one of Lonely Planet's top 10 cities. The Travel Guide's best-selling yearbook Best in Travel has selected Oslo as one of the 10 best cities in the world to visit in 2018, citing the Norwegian capital's innovative architecture and unmissable museums alongside cool bars, bistros and cafes. Topic: Crime Oslo Police District is Norway's largest police district with over 2,300 employees. Over 1,700 of those are police officers, nearly 140 police lawyers and 500 civilian employees. Oslo Police District has five police stations located around the city at Gronland, Centrum, Stovna, Majestuen and Manglerud. The National Criminal Investigation Service is located in Oslo, which is a Norwegian special police division under the NMJP. PST is also located in the Oslo district. PST is a security agency which was established in 1936 and is one of the non-secret agencies in Norway. Oslo police stated that the capital is one of Europe's safest. Statistics have shown that crime in Oslo is on the rise, and some media have reported that there are four times as many thefts and robberies in Oslo than in New York City per capita. According to the Oslo police, they receive more than 15,000 reports of petty thefts annually. Fewer than one in a hundred cases get solved. On the 22nd of July 2011, Oslo was the site of one of two terrorist attacks: the bombing of Oslo government offices. Topic: Transport. Oslo has Norway's most extensive public transport system, managed by Rutter. This includes the six-line Oslo Metro, the world's most extensive metro per resident, the six-line Oslo Tramway and the eight-line Oslo Commuter Rail. The tramway operates within the areas close to the city center, while the metro, which runs underground through the city center, operates to suburbs further away. This includes two lines that operate to Bærum, and the ring line which loops to areas north of the center. Oslo is also covered by a bus network consisting of 32 city lines, as well as regional buses to the neighboring county of Akershus. Oslo Central Station acts as the central hub, and offers rail services to most major cities in southern Norway as well as Stockholm and Gothenburg in Sweden. The airport express train operates along the high speed Gardermen line. The Drammen line runs under the city centre in the Oslo Tunnel. Some of the city islands and the neighbouring municipality of Nesodden are connected by ferry. Daily cruise ferry services operate to Copenhagen and Frederikshavn in Denmark, and to Kiel in Germany. Many of the motorways pass through the downtown and other parts of the city in tunnels. The construction of the roads is partially supported through a toll ring. The major motorways through Oslo are European Route E6 and E18. There are three beltways, the innermost which are streets and the outermost, Ring 3 which is an expressway. The main airport serving the city is Gardermen Airport, located in Ullensica, 47 kilometers (29 miles) from the city center of Oslo. It acts as the main international gateway to Norway and is the sixth largest domestic airport in Europe. Gardermen is a hub for Scandinavian Airlines, Norwegian Air Shuttle, and Widerøe. 
Oslo is also served by a secondary airport, which serves some low-cost carriers, such as Ryanair, Torp Airport, 110 km miles from the city. Topic demographics The population of Oslo was by 2010 increasing at a record rate of nearly 2% annually 17% over the last 15 years, making it the fastest-growing Scandinavian capital. In 2015, according to Statistics Norway Annual Report, there were 647,676 permanent residents in the Oslo municipality, of which 628,719 resided in the city proper. There were also 1,467,000 in the city's urban area and an estimated 1.71 million in the Greater Oslo region. Within 100 kilometers (62 miles) of the city centre, according to the most recent census, 432,000 Oslo residents (70.4% of the population) were ethnically Norwegian, an increase of 6% since 2002 409,000 Oslo has the largest population of immigrants and Norwegians born to immigrant parents in Norway both in relative and absolute figures of Oslo's 624,000 inhabitants, 189,400 were immigrants or born to immigrant parents, representing 30.4% of the capital's population. All suburbs in Oslo were above the national average of 14.1%. The suburbs with the highest proportions of people of immigrant origin were Sonder Nordstrand, Stovner and Alna, where they formed around 50% of the population. Pakistanis make up the single largest ethnic minority, followed by Poles, Somalis, and Swedes. Other large immigrant groups are people from Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Turkey, Morocco, Iraq, and Kurdistan region and Iran and Kurdistan province. In 2013, 40% of Oslo's primary school pupils were registered as having a first language other than Norwegian or Sami. The western part of the city is predominantly ethnic Norwegian, with several schools having less than 5% pupils with an immigrant background. The eastern part of Oslo is more mixed, with some schools up to 97% of immigrant background. Schools are also increasingly divided by ethnicity, with white flight being present in some of the northeastern suburbs of the city. In the borough of Groradalen in 2008 for instance, the ethnic Norwegian population decreased by 1,500, while the immigrant population increased by 1,600. Oslo has numerous religious communities. In 2017, 50.0% of the population were members of the Church of Norway lower than the national average of 70.6%. Members of other Christian denominations make up 8.1% of the population. Islam was followed by 8.7% and Buddhism by 0.5% of the population. Adherents of other religions formed 0.9% of the population. Life stance communities, mainly the Norwegian Humanist Association, were represented by 2.9% of the population. 28.9% of the Oslo population were unaffiliated with any religion or life stance community. Topic: Notable residents. Topic: 
International relations Oslo is a pilot city of the Council of Europe and the European Commission's Intercultural Cities Programme, along with a number of other European cities. Topic: Twin towns, partner cities, and regions. Oslo has cooperation agreements with the following cities, regions. Oslo was formerly twinned with Madison, Wisconsin, Tel Aviv and Vilnius, but has since abolished the concept of twin cities. Topic: Christmas trees as gifts. Oslo has a tradition of sending a Christmas tree every year to the cities of Washington D.C., New York, London, Edinburgh, Rotterdam, Antwerp and Reykjavik. Since 1947, Oslo has sent a 65 to 80 foot high, 20 to 24 meter, 50 to 100 year old spruce as an expression of gratitude toward Britain for its support of Norway during World War II. Topic: See also Oslo Accords Timeline of transport in Oslo